Our first race was the Commodore Classic, hosted by Vanderbilt University. It's a really big meet. For the non-D1 schools, we finished fifth out of 13 uh, and beat a lot of the teams that we were used to racing. And so we were pretty happy, especially compared to last year. We have some strong new runners who showed out well for the first race. Second race was the Rhodes Invitational in Memphis. It was also a good race. It was a hot race, though, so it was a little bit tougher on us. We weren't quite as happy. Uh, we've been training in the morning, so we might start working in some afternoon runs just to get used to the heat, but hopefully we'll, we'll get over that and look forward to the next five races. Well, there, I guess each runner kind of has their own, own approach. A lot of people will either try and pace themselves throughout the race, think of it for our, our team, we race 8K most of the season, and so that's about five miles. So some people approach it as trying to hit even splits or maybe even speed up throughout the race, whereas other runners might go out hard and take more of an approach of just hanging on for the rest of the race. Uh, and so usually I go for more of a paced approach, but we have different guys on the team who do different things. And Coach really likes to emphasize, though, the the second and third mile time versus the fourth and fifth mile time, and just looking at how how close you are to hitting the same pace for for those two different two mile gaps. Well, mainly his his job is before the race, of course, helping us train, helping us prepare, and so during the race he'll be he'll be on the side, keeping track of our splits, kind of encouraging us, uh, telling us our times or try and encourage us to look look ahead who's who's ahead of us maybe which teams which rivals might be within distance where we should try and, and pass them so he'll have that that big picture view that we can't get while we're running our team was down to about four runners before we picked up these four new guys so we definitely needed some more strength some more depth we uh, a couple of our fastest runners either transferred or graduated last year, so we definitely had some gaps to fill. And so thankfully we picked up our senior, Tony, uh, transferred from Houston Baptist, and he's running really well and really just impressing our team. Then we also have the three new freshmen, and uh, they're, they're running well. Uh, and really all of them have kind of exceeded our expectations. They're doing a great job, which is really important just thinking of our team as we build having just transferred into the NCAA Division II program. So seeing our team start to build back up, uh, recruiting, recruiting well, and I know that, that will be important for looking at new runners uh, in the coming years. Running Cross Country for Union has been a really great part of my college experience. It was great to have a team there from the very beginning, some close friendships. A lot of my closest friendships, of course, are on the team that I spend time with just about every day. Uh, so that's been a really big impact on my life and coach has done a great job recruiting not just great runners but also great people. He really prizes the character of our team, the maturity, even the spiritual maturity of our team. And I know that I've been encouraged through those teammates who've been my roommates and my friends on and off the, the course. And so that's been a huge impact on my, on my life as well as just the discipline that it requires. We practice 5.45 in the morning, so that, that shapes everything throughout your day as you're thinking about, well, we'll joke when we're going to bed at night, see you in a few hours, uh, and we mean it. So that definitely guides our thoughts, just the discipline that, that has to guide us in, our, in the classroom, in our life choices. And it's, I think it's helped me have a really great college experience here at Union.